Hey and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about something that I always wanted to talk about and that is the fear of eating carbohydrates. Your fear of carbohydrates might hurt you more than the carbohydrates themselves. So let's talk about carb anxiety and why it is time to stop villainizing an entire food group. Carbs. Just hearing the word might make you think of weight gain and blood sugar spikes or unhealthy foods, right? You might think keto diet or carnivore diet. You might also think let's stay away from carbohydrates because they are bad for me. Today we're breaking down your carb anxiety and this is not just about food. This is about misinformation and how fear can shape our choices, our health and even our happiness. So join me. We're trying to fix that. So now let's talk about why we need carbohydrates. So first of all, carbohydrates are a primary energy source for the body. I guess everybody knows that, you know? If you are um, worried about your insulin sensitivity or your insulin resistance, then you should look at the glycemic index of the foods that you're eating. There are, there are foods that have higher glycemic index than others. And also, as just as a side note, there are some of my peer social media uh, influencers that have a lot more followers than I do, that tell you about glycemic indices somewhere north of 100. That's not a thing. The glycemic index goes from zero to 100. Just as a side note, glucose is typically your main food for your brain cells. And that's about 60% of your body's total glucose needs goes into your brain cells, you know? That's why low carb, the low carb diets uh, often use brain fog until you get your ketone adaptation. But remember, again, keto diet does not work for everyone. And it's not a good idea to use the keto diet if you want to stay lean, all right? If you want to get lean, maybe. If it works for you, good for you, right? But if you want to stay lean and keep on the diet for the rest of your life, just a very few people can do that. Most people can't. Most people will at some point get off the keto diet and then guess what they do they bounce back in their weight so this is what we want to avoid we want to change your diet to a healthier diet a more balanced diet that you can lose weight with and that you also can eat for the rest of your life second thing that carbohydrates do right so pure uh, like primary energy source we all agree on this right second thing is hormone and metabolic support. So first of all, fiber-rich carbohydrates foods like oats and legumes or like vegetables, they promote a slow glucose absorption, which actually prevents insulin spikes and insulin crashes. They're very important for your insulin regulation. Thyroid function, T3, the active thyroid hormone can be reduced on very low carb diets can potentially also slow down your metabolism if you don't eat enough carbohydrates. And then of course, some carbohydrates, for example, in potatoes or in green bananas that are not dietary fiber can still feed your gut bacteria that then will optimize or help, or help with like gut microbiome health on the long run. And then last but not least, um, carbohydrates are extremely essential for also structural roles in the body. I just want to give two examples. One is glycoproteins. Those are proteins that help the cells to communicate. Those are proteins that are composed out of uh, amino acids and, of course, of sugars. Uh, in DNA and RNA, those are sugars as well. Rebose, for example, is a sugar, which is part of your genetic material. Carbohydrates are not optional, right? They're essential. If your overall diet contains a lot of like whole foods and lean proteins, not just carbohydrate sources, but also good fats and good protein sources, then the moderate intake, like a pastry a week, will not be the end of the world, right? Because your health is dictated not by one item you're eating. Your health is dictated by your overall diet. How balanced is your diet? The diets of most Americans is very poor. And at the same time, uh, we have a world of overabundance where we are confronted with foods all the time. Most Americans have already a very unhealthy relationship with food. You know, we favor convenience and empty calorie foods over nutrition. And in America in particularly, but generally most Western diets, 
We eat a lot of high caloric, empty calorie foods. And that is the key problem for obesity and overweight. And a lot of those empty calories foods often contain a lot of refined sugars or they're high starchy foods without a lot of dietary fiber. And that is the food if consumed excessively and um, constantly, right, can lead to insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes and obesity, overweight, or usually both. The issue is not carbohydrates. The issue is the kind of food we're eating. Our diet is the issue. So changing your relationship to food, to a more balanced diet to, that reduces the intake of those empty calorie foods and focuses more on nutrient-dense foods, that is where I want you guys to go. So I don't want you to go from one unhealthy relationship to another unhealthy relationship. We want to make an improvement, right? We want to improve ourselves. It is really important not to restrict yourself of an entire macronutrient food group. The main thing for you is really consistency. You need to be able to eat the diet for the rest of your life, right? This is not about weight loss itself. This is also about, about maintaining your weight for the rest of your life. So remember, a balanced diet approach is always superior to any restrictive diet if you want to keep your weight off for the rest of your life careful advertisement. Some people complain that I advertise for my own book. In my new book, I will talk about this. It has, at the moment, it has 376 pages, which is way too many. So I'm trying to cut it down a little bit, but it's out soon, I hope. And we give recipes in that book. Each macronutrient gets their own chapter in that book. Uh, we talk a lot about caloric deficit in that book and how to maintain a healthy relationship with food. Subscribe to my channel over here and feel free to drop a comment. Uh, as always, I leave all the sources that I use for this channel. Those are mostly scientific papers in our descriptions. I see you soon. I'm out.